create racial level histograms with Google Sheets desktop, I'll go ahead and use this data in column A. I'll tap in A1, and then I'll use a keyboard shortcut to select these. I'll use Control Shift Down Arrow on my keyboard and select all of the data in column A. I'll click on Insert Chart, and Google Sheets will pick a histogram chart. If I needed to change that, I could do that from Setup. But it's a histogram chart I want. And this is an illustration of a mathematically uniform histogram. I have 10 uh, values from 0 to 9, or repeated 10 times to generate 100 values in my data set. And so I have 10 zeros, 10 ones, 10 twos. You'll see that Google Sheets picked 10 columns. Google Sheets uses the square root of the sample size to calculate the number of classes or intervals or as Google Sheets calls them, buckets. On the Google Sheets Android app, the no further customization can really be done of the histogram. You can remove the legend and a couple other small tweaks. But on the desktop, we have full access to, if we click on Customize on the right and Histogram, we can select our bucket size. In this case, maybe I want the bucket size to, instead of being 0.95, right now we've got 0 to 0.95 on the x-axis. Maybe I want that to just be 1. Well, I can select the 1 and set that to be 1. And I can also go down to the horizontal axis and adjust that if I want. I know it ends at 9.5. I can set the minimum to be my minimum 0 and my maximum to be my maximum 9. There is one small complication with doing that. If you count, I now have only nine classes. I've lost a class. What's happened is the x-axis are the class upper limits, the interval upper limits. And so this last class on the end, uh, eight to nine, that particular class does not include nine. It goes up to, but not including nine. That's the number of eights there are in column A. So if I want to include 9, I have to go above 9, and that's why the original one went to 9.5. But I can set it to go to 10, and that makes my x-axis look uh, more reasonable. Uh, so these are customizations that can be made in the uh, desktop. Here's another data set. I'll select it. This is a centrally peaked, roughly symmetric data set. I'll click on Insert Chart. It'll again pick a... Uh, histogram. Again, it's got 10 columns because I have 100 values that were originally generated with the norm inverse function, the normal inverse function, and uh, I then copied and pasted them to be static values so I would get a, the same consistent chart. The Again, uh, under Customize on the right, I can change my width. I have 10 classes. If I wanted, say, fewer classes, I can adjust my bucket size and my minimum and maximum to, to do that. Currently my width is about 0.3. You can see that on the x-axis. It's running from 3 to 3.3, 3.3 to 3.6. So if I wish to cut that in half, then I should probably use a bucket size of around 0 0.6. And that will get me from 10 classes to five classes. If I wish to adjust that the uh, x-axis, which currently runs three to six, but if I did wish to adjust it, I can go to the horizontal axis and set that, say, from zero to 10, if for some reason I wanted that to be my x-axis. So I have control over both the width of the class in Google Sheets desktop, and I have control over the x-axis over the minimum, the maximum on the x-axis. If I delete the, the max, it will set it automatically. If I delete the min, that will be set automatically. So there is control over these from the desktop. Now, the course uh, that this video serves targets the Google Sheets app on smartphones. And the idea is to teach the concepts and mechanics of Google Sheets as done from a smartphone. 
smartphones do have a limit of only 100 data values. The sample size for a histogram can't exceed 100. This is just a limit for the histograms. It's not a limit in any other sense. But on the app on smartphones, histograms cannot be generated for more than 100 values, not as of the time that this video was made in uh, 2020. So the app is limited to 100 values. The course itself is only introducing basic statistics and 100 values is enough to do the introductions that are necessary. But if you have more than 100 values and you want to make a histogram, you'll have to switch to the desktop version to do that. And this video is just a bit of an introduction to how you can customize your histogram from the desktop version if you happen to be working in a desktop or laptop environment with Google Sheets.